Put off. All right. Let's go ahead and just push start. <coughs> Close us. Now I'm going to do the driver and fuel area, starting with the door and mirrors. Okay. This is recording right now? Yep. Okay, good. This is my door, and this is the mirror. The door here, walk over this way. The outside latch works. The inside latch works. This door is not loose. The hinges here and here, there's no missing nuts or bolts. They're not cracked, bent, or dented. The door seal, it's not missing. It's not torn, cracked, or loose. The door latches and it's flush with my truck. Mirror, my mirror, the metal, it's not cracked, bent, or dented. No missing nuts or bolts. This housing is not loose or, or cracked or damaged. The mirrors are clean and clear, not cracked. They're not missing. This is securely mounted. Fuel tank and cap and leaks. My fuel tank is right here. And my fuel cap is right here. The fuel tank is securely mounted with this strap right here and this strap right here. They're not loose or missing. There's no missing nuts or bolts. Also, in between them, there's this little piece of rubber between them. That's not worn through or missing here or here. I don't have metal touching metal. I don't have any cracked or missing welds here or here or around here. I'm gonna look for leaks up here. I want those hoses connected inside here to the tank. There's two of them. They're not loose. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. They're not leaking. That electrical line's connected. That runs the pump. It's not loose either. There's no corroded wires either or cut wires. The cap right here is tight. I would remove that cap to make sure that gas cap seals in place. It's not missing. The cap is tight, it's not leaking here either. Not leaking on the top here, and not leaking or dripping on the ground. The fuel tank and cap are securely mounted. Steps, I have steps here, here, there, and there. These steps, they're off the ground, they're not dragging on the ground. They're all flat. They're not crack bent or dented. They got even traction or tread on them. No missing nuts or bolts, securely mounted. Battery box. My battery box is right here. The battery box, there's no missing nuts or bolts. It's not cracked, bent, or dented. This latch or strap is not missing. I would remove this cap right here and look at the battery. The battery is not cracked or leaking. The wires are connected. There's no corroded, exposed, or cut or loose wires. The battery and battery box are securely mounted. Lights and reflectors. My light right here and the reflector right here and the light right here and the light up on top of there. They're clean and clear, not cracked. There's no loose or missing screws at all, or hanging wires. The lights here, there, and up there are securely mounted, proper color, amber or, red or orange. The headlight right here is also clean, clear, not cracked. Loose or missing, there's no loose or hanging wires down here. There's no missing screws here and here. The headlight is securely mounted. Under the vehicle, the drive shaft. My drive shaft is right here. It's straight from here all the way to up front up here. 
It's not crack bent or dented or sagging at all. It's properly greased here at its knuckles or joints right here, up there, and back here. There's no missing nuts or bolts or shiny exposed threads. Because this thing spins around in circles, these hoses here and all these hoses tied up inside here and over here, they're not hanging below the frame to get stuck in this thing. The drive shaft is securely mounted. Exhaust system is right here. This is my exhaust system. This pipe or the end of the pipe is beyond the cab. It's not crack bent or dented or rusted through. There's no signs that it's been leaking like a, sil a buildup of soot. There's no missing nuts or bolts at all. The exhaust system here is securely mounted. <clears throat> then we'll do a um, frame. My frame right here and right here, it's straight, it's not sagging or bent. The cross members here and here, none of them are loose or missing. The metal is not crack bent or dented. I'm gonna inspect it inside and out to make sure there's no sign of repair or illegal welds. The cross members and frame are securely mounted. Rear tire. This tire right here, it can be recapped. The tread depth right here, here and here and there. It's not too thin. It's at least 232 inch even wear. No flat spots. The sidewalls here and here. There's no abrasions, bulges or cuts not cracked or leaking. Then I'm going to read the spec on the tire and with an air gauge I'll check it at the valve stems right here. This valve stem is not loose, cracked or leaking. The dust caps in place. The tires are securely mounted. Rims. I'm going to inspect the rim right here. Inside here and outside here. It's not warped or there's no welds. It's not cracked, bent or dented at all. It's also, there's no gap between this rim and the tire. This tire is sealed all the way around. The rim is securely mounted. Lug nuts, I'm gonna inspect all these lug nuts down here. None of them are loose or missing. They're not cracked. There's no shiny threads here at all. There's no space or gap between the lug nut and the rim or rust trails. The lug nuts here are all securely mounted. Hub oil seal. I'm gonna come over here to make sure that seal is not worn through, cracked, or leaking down here. There's no signs that it's been leaking inside here. This is not cracked, bent, or dented. There's no missing nuts here or shiny threads here. The hub oil seal is securely mounted. If I had to add oil, I'd add it right here. Springs and shops. We'll come over here. <clears throat> My spring is right up here. And my shock is right over here. So I'm sitting back here when I'm doing that. See where I'm at? So come right over here and take a look at that. My spring is right there. And my shock is right here. My springs, none of them are missing. They're not scissoring or crisscrossing one another. They're not crack bent or dented. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The spring is securely mounted. The shock is straight. It's not crack bent or dented or leaking. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The rubber bushings up here. And down there, they're not worn through or missing. The shock is securely mounted. Airbags. I have an airbag right here. And I have one over here. Here and here. The airbags, they have even pressure on them from side to side. One's not underinflated or overinflated. My truck's not sitting like this. All right. There's no abrasions, bulges, or cuts. It's not cracked or leaking at all. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The metal here is not cracked, bent, or dented at all. The, air, the airbags here are securely mounted. Spring and air mounts. This is my spring mount right here. And my airbag mounts are right here and down here. My spring mount up here, it's not loose. It's not cracked, bent, or dented at all. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The spring mount is securely mounted. My airbag mount right here and also down here. 
It's not crack bent or dented. There's no gap or space between this mount and the frame at all. No missing nuts or bolts. The airbag mount here and here are securely mounted. All right, so then we'll do, uh, where was that here? Rear brakes. So you come over this way and I'm gonna go over this way. Brake hoses are lines. I have two brake hoses right here and right here. Then I have an ABS line right here. It goes down this way. These brake hoses here, they're not loose. There's no abrasions, bolters or cuts. They're not cracked or leaking. I'll listen for air leaks here. Listen for air leaks here. The ABS line right here is not loose. It's secured right here. There's no cut, exposed or corroded wires. The ABS line and brake hoses are securely mounted. Brake chamber, I have a, have a front piece for the brake chamber and a back piece and the C-clamp is right here. See it right here? The C-clamp is not loose or missing at all. There's no missing nuts or bolts at all or shiny threads. The brake chamber, there's no space or gaps between the brake chamber ends. It's not crack bent or dented at all. I'll listen for air leaks right here. The brake chamber is securely mounted. Slack adjuster and push rod. This is my slack adjuster and this is my push rod down here. The slack adjuster is not loose. It's not crack bent or dented. It's also properly greased. There's no missing pins or cotter keys down here. The push rod goes inside here. For me to check that push rod, I need to, I need to block the tires and release the yellow valve or the parking brake. And then I can come down here and pull that push rod by hand. There should be no more than one inch of play and it should be even on both sides. The push rod and slack adjuster are securely mounted. Drums and linings. You walk over this way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna inspect the outside of the drum right here and the inside of the drum. I'll look inside the inspection holes right here. So on the outside of the drum, it's not cracked at all. It's not warped at all. On the inside of the drum right here, it's dry on the inside of the drum. It's also, there's not cracked or there's no discoloration or warping. The brake lining, it's not worn too thin. It's at least one quarter inch thick, evenly worn. None of it's loose or missing. Also dry, no oil or grease. The lining and brake drum are securely mounted. So rear vehicle splash guards. My splash guards are right here. They're at least six to nine inches off the ground. They're not dragging. This is not dragging on the ground. This is not torn or cut or loose. There's no missing nuts or bolts. The bracket's not crack bent or dented. The splash guards are securely mounted. Lights and reflectors. I have DOT approved tape here. Also over here. And I have it up on the window over there. It's not obstructed. Also, none of it's loose or missing. It's clean and clear. It's securely mounted. The light right here and the light right here. The lenses are clean and clear, not cracked. No missing screws, no loose or hanging wires. The light here and here are securely mounted. Proper color, red. Let me stop now.